Hey y'all, I'm Laura and welcome back to Confident Notions. This is the official final, final video that I am filming in, uh, in this house. So you might notice I've had the same shirt on because I needed to get some filming done and packing. So super bittersweet, awesome, all of that goodness. So for those of you who are new here, welcome. Um, my name's Laura. I do a lot of haul videos, Dollar Tree hauls, all kinds of stuff like that. And I am packing up all of this house to move from North Carolina to Massachusetts. So let's get into this. As I was packing, I realized there were some things that I had not yet hauled like this. So we're going to get into it and then I'm going to pack it and we're going to be good to go. So this is in no particular order, not a one. So this is gonna be fun for you and me. All right, so first couple of things. These I did find recently at Dollar Tree and they were hella cute and I was like, well, we need paper plates. Anyways, so I found these adorable pumpkin plates with the sunflowers, y'all the sunflowers. And so I got a pack of matching plates too. I think these are so stinking cute and chances are we're gonna use these real soon like today or tomorrow to, as we pack on. But anyways, I thought these were adorable. So I had to get those. And to go along with this, I saw this and granted it's kind of cheapy looking, let's be real. But it says happy harvest. And look at the pumpkins and the sunflower. So it's like the same like vibe as this, which I thought was so, so cute. So I picked up that too. Then I found these and I think, have y'all seen these? So these really cute, and yeah, they are green briar, but with the little hooks on them. So I picked up three of these and you may be like, Laura, why are you getting a decor? So here's the thing. I know in my new office, kind of the way that I want it set up and there's a good possibility that I'm gonna have my Peloton in my office too, just cause I don't think I wanna put it downstairs in the basement. <clears throat> and I thought these would be really cute <clears throat> for the vibe that I'm going for. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it when I show you like what I have planned. Um, <clears throat> but to put these up on the wall to hold like towels and headbands and stuff like that, I thought that'd be really cute, like where my bike is. And so I grabbed that. <clears throat> then I think we've all seen these little core, like the harvest one. I really like the gray one. Um, we are moving into our new house on September 18th. So I still got some time. So I grabbed that and September 18th means that I should have time to actually get up some Halloween. Oh, these are all flippy on me now, but how cute are these? You get two of them. So we've got the happy Halloween and this one says the witch is in. I will tell you, I went through a couple of these just to make sure like the glitter aligned because there was definitely like some misprints and like the glitter was on top of where the word should be. It wasn't cute. So make sure if you see those, you go digging through and find out, find the good ones. And then this one here, Beware Black Cat Crossing and Trick or Treat. Again, you know, I got a thing for black cats because I have a black cat and I think this is adorable. So I picked up both of these. You see the tops ripped off because there is a bunch of them like where the glitter was off. And so I just ripped down the good ones because that's how I roll. Um, then I picked up these hardware storage cases. I still have some jewelry left to pack. And let me tell you, <clears throat> to get these for a dollar is a lot better than going to Home Depot, where I did go to Home Depot and I spent like 40 bucks on three different giant ones of these. But like to pack up jewelry, I think these are perfect. So I needed to like unpack all of my armoire and stuff like that. So I picked up these here to help with that packing. But look, you put your jewelry in here, you put your earrings in here. As long as the seal is like tight on the top and you don't have to worry about chains falling out and getting all tangled, you should be good to go. Let's see, snacky foods. I grabbed some more gum, because y'all, you know, I need some gum right about now. Um, some sunflower kernels, add a little crunch to salad. Um, put that over there in the box. And then I also did grab some sugar-free Chico sticks because I love these. I think they're delicious. And we'll put those over there in the bag to pack too. Like this is how it's gonna work. I'm just gonna start throwing stuff everywhere <laughs> because that's where we are in the packing process. Um, for Morgan, I did find this Paw Patrol 
we deep in the Paw Patrol here, like deep in the Paw Patrol. Um, so this is an activity paint set. You get four markers, four paint sheets. You, it, there's like little watercolors in here. So she's totally into this. So I'm gonna take this and pack this in the bag that we're taking to Grammy's house for a couple weeks because we're gonna need some stuff to keep her occupied. Speaking of stuff to keep her occupied, how damn cute is this? How cute is this damn bathtub? Look at it. And she is deep into like pretend play right now. And so she's got a lot of little dolls and stuff and she's gonna have a blast with this little tub. She's gonna try to put water in it though, like nonstop try to put water in this thing. So there's, there's that. But we'll pack that up in her box of toys that were taken to Grammy's as well. Um, I'm just gonna start taking out of this bag because I don't know what's in here. Again, I was like, Laura, you don't need these, but I love the sunflowers. I freaking, freaking love the sunflower vibe. And it is sunflower season right about now. But so I did grab two of these. And I think even if they don't make it up this year, I'm still going to really like them next year. And I figured for two bucks, why not? But oh, these are so freaking cute. I love them. I love them. I love them. Love them so much. This is the loopy part of the stage where Laura starts losing her mind a little bit as we dig through the bags. What you gonna find? I don't know. I did find some calendars too. So y'all remember last year people lost their mind over these calendars? I think part of it was that everybody was just ready for 2020 to be over and they're like, this calendar says 2021. But you remember like people lost their shit over those calendars last year. Well, um, I saw these and I was like, well, I'm gonna grab one of each just in case. So I picked up this one here. So this says the Enjoy the Little Things 12 month calendar. And it's got, again, these are really great for DIY. So you can like decoupage them on things. Um, some of them are super, super cute. Like the Be Kind, Be Fearless. These are all adorable. I still got last year's too because we've been planning to move for a whole year. Then I also grabbed this one, this farmhouse 12 month calendar. This also had some really cute um, things in it, like life is short, lick the bowl. I thought that was adorable. So for a dollar, we'll grab one. Like I'm not probably not gonna use like them as calendars, but whatevs. And then this one here, this farmer's market one, I'll be honest, I got it because I thought this one was so cute. This happy holidays one was hella cute, um, a juicy watermelon, adorable. So they're gonna go in my craft stash. The only problem that I have is in this new house. So my office is gonna be like the former den. So it's not like this room is, technically it's a bedroom because it has a closet in it, but it connects like from this half of the house into the loft. So it has like two doors, so it's weird. It's like a, a cross through. It doesn't make sense to use it as a bedroom, but it could. I think probably they, they finish the space over the garage like later on, which is why I, so like that door probably didn't exist before. Anyways, <sighs> sorry, there's not enough coffee in this world for me right about now. Anywho, um, I don't have, I need to figure out where to put my craft stuff. Now, the lady who, we are gonna eventually finish the entire basement, but the lady who lived there, well now that we're um she had like a whole like room in the basement where she did her craft stuff and she had her cricket set up there and she had all kinds of other stuff and i'm like girl that was a great idea however i did give the basement to my husband as like his workspace so we'll see we'll figure it out figure it out speaking of crafting how cute are these like crafter square like metal bottle cap things i just thought like the galvanized steel was really really cute these little twine things there's something you can do a lot with those i got a whole damn house to decorate now so we don't see what's gonna do again this stuff is in no particular order whatsoever <laughs> i did grab some of these pumpkins i grabbed two of these in the orange ones and this was all they had they had two orange and two blue and i was like i don't need the blue ones so i did grab these because i thought those were cute as well and then let's see here again no particular order am i crooked i'm crooked this bag here this little backpack was attached it was like stuck on my tripod and it fell over so anyways i'm gonna i'm gonna put some crap in this backpack because i got stuff to pack 
but that's a great deal like for a dollar it's a backpack is it gonna last like three days yes but you know what as long as it gets me where i need to go i'll be fine i'll be good and i think those are also really good if you're gonna do like homeless bags or like gift bags for folks or like fill it up with toiletries for donation spectacular for a dollar Speaking of a dollar, I did get this adjustable wrist support and sometimes I tweak this wrist. It goes back from a hundred years ago when I used to wait tables in college. Um, but sometimes like I'll tweak it and it'll hurt for like four days and I don't wear a wrist brace or something. But I thought maybe like for a dollar I can have one on hand. So that way when I need it, I have it. Whew, just realized I hadn't eaten breakfast yet. It's like 11 o'clock. All right. What else we got? Storage bags. I need to store some stuff. <laughs> um, I also picked up, I thought I had more of these somewhere, but these gold toe socks. So this is the Montreux Gold Toe Premier. These retailed for $9. $9. And gold toe is on the Dollar Tree for a dollar. One dollar. Yes, for a dollar. We gotta get those gotta get those i'm trying to keep it interesting for you because there's nothing like interesting to look at i think i'm crooked and all kinds of crap but anyways um snackies from morgan she really likes these crackers and um she gets crumbs all over the place but she likes them so got her a couple of those packs um paw patrol washcloth we deep in the paw patrol here so all things paw patrol for a dollar why not Oh, I thought I hold the rest of these barrettes before um, in my last video, but this here, this is the other one that I couldn't find. So it's three birds. I thought that this was really cute. It's going to be really big on her head, but she really likes the moon. She's kind of obsessed with the moon. So I thought that would be adorable for her. Nail file. I needed one of these earlier today because I'd packed my other nail file. So we'll put this in the stuff I'm taking with us. Um, oh, I did finally find the Milani, but all I found was this holographic like glitter lip gloss. So I was really surprised to see this for a dollar because like this is a brand that you can get at the drugstore and it's definitely more than a dollar uh, when you go pick that up. All right, moving on. Last couple of things here with this bag. Oh my God, it's my last Dollar Tree haul in this space. This is crazy. Ooh, another pumpkin. I picked up two of these ones. No, these are different. So these are the heavy pumpkins. So white pumpkin with the gold stem on it, super cute. And then this like heavy, like concrete pumpkin. Um, again, white pumpkins, adorable. Little decor, I never hurt no one. Uh, let's see here. Last bag, shaker bottle. These are a lot more than a dollar. So shaker bottle for a dollar is a hella good deal. Speaking of hella good deals, Beef jerky. Yeah, beef jerky is damn expensive. Um, so I've told y'all, I've been on Jenny Craig for a while. I think things are going in the right direction, but we packed the scale, which is problematic. Anywho, um, you do have to supplement in Jenny Craig food, and there are some times that I need to supplement with a milk. I am lactose intolerant, which makes it really difficult to have milk. So I just substitute with a protein. And um, as long as it's a lower fat, lower carb, um, we're totally fine with that. So sometimes I substitute beef jerky for a milk uh, because it's the protein that you're trying to consume there. So three of these, these are good. Also, these do not have soy in them, which I'm allergic to. And so anytime I can find a beef jerky without soy, I am a happy, happy gal. I'm also really hungry right now because I haven't eaten breakfast, which is sad. Speaking of that, another beef jerky. This was the Larissa's Kitchen. Um, this one you don't get as much. Hmm, this one expired. I definitely have not had this as long as it has been expired. But it's beef jerky, right? I mean, like beef jerky, like it's it's dried. It's meant to like last a long ass time, right? Who knows? I don't think I'm gonna die if I eat it. Pretty sure. Fingers crossed, right? two adorable notebooks so i found this one with the bees the little bee notebook so fucking cute i'm not i shouldn't be cursing but look it's got little bees in here too this is adorable and then this one here look i love the black and gold i ain't gonna lie and it's just got these really cute like floral outlines on it i thought these were so cute this is by crown jewels um and so not a greenbrier product but absolutely precious for a dollar 
So picked up those. I also grabbed this notebook. Look at the florals. Can, okay, I'm gonna tell you, I, you know I'm obsessed with like back, black background florals right now. And I found like this amazing rug on rugs.com that kind of looks like this for the floor in my office and I'm all about it. So just a really cute notebook, 60 sheets. I go through a lot of notebooks because I take a lot of notes because for me, like that's how I remember things. I have to write them down. Even if I'm having a conversation with somebody, it's the act of writing that makes it stick in my brain. So I go through a lot of notebooks. I just do. Um, hair ties, because you need them. And I did, ooh, I did get this one a while ago, but look, they had kids shirts. So this is a 4T toddler shirt for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, is it thin? Yes. Is it kind of cheap? Yes. Is she going to wear it once? Probably. But you know what? For a dollar, if she gets paint crap all over it, then that's totally fine. Um, or daycare or something, right? But a dollar. This doesn't have like a brand on it. It's just some like random generic brand, but they had a bunch of other ones too. I think this was the only 4T that they had. So I grabbed it and it actually looks kind of big for 4T. Uh, let's see, last couple of things here. Oh my God, last couple of things. Another notebook. This one says get stuff done, but what I liked about it is it has, it has to do's and then it has goals on it. So let's open this bad boy up here. Oh, see, look at this. You know, I love this one. So it's to do's, goals, fitness, and water on it. My water would be, that's a lot of waters. And then down at the bottom, it's like today was productive, awesome, tomorrow will be better. So I really like that. I like that it like just has your to do, although I don't know who's going to write in that tiny space. Okay. Um, art project, pom pom tassel kit. It says six plus, but I thought Morgan would like to do that. Who doesn't want to make a pom-pom tassel? Mm, okay, last couple of things. We got some Tupperware, because we won't need it. It's not Tupperware, it's Betty Crockerware, you know what I mean? And the last couple of things were hair ties. So I did find the scrunchies, so these Shifani scrunchies. And I like these because these are the bigger ones. I don't... If, and this is always the test. Like if you put it on your wrist, does it feel like it's cutting off circulation on your wrist? If so, then you need a bigger one. So I got it in this really pretty blue color, in the black, and then also in this like tan ecru color. So cute. And to go along with it, I also did pick up one of these like corduroy headbands. I wish I'd look good in a headband. I wish I did. See, look. Maybe it's just that I look, it looks weird to me. The other thing too is I have a big head. So a lot of these things, I feel like it's cutting off circulation. It's not me. It's just, and it's too tight on my head. I use it for my kid. Her head's much smaller because she's four. All right. <laughs> Last couple of things here, folks. Now that I have static head. Um, mm, this is when I was on a kick. I needed some lemon mac wax melts. So this was lemon biscotti. It actually smells pretty good. I hadn't burned them yet. So we'll see how that goes. Last, last things. I found the earrings. I bought a lot of these earrings. I gotta tell you, like there was a, I was going through a phase on like Shein where I was looking for earrings and their earrings are a dollar, right? But then you gotta do like shipping and all of that. And it takes forever to get here. And then I saw these at Dollar Tree. I'm like, they're a dollar. And it's literally like the same quality as you would get on Shein. But you actually get to see them. So, and it just says like fashion jewelry brand. But it's a dollar. And the thing that I did like too is it did have little backs on it. But here's the first pair. Like these really cute like, um, like tortoiseshell earrings. So these are door knocker design earrings. Again, so cute. So I grabbed those ones. These ones here, I think are the smaller version of that door knocker design. Adorable. And these ones were nice. Like these are nicer because I've seen some of the ones that just look like good gold hoops or whatnot. And those I'm like, they're gonna tarnish pretty quickly. Um, but these ones here, no. These ones are just like a big old circle. Then I got, these ones are a little bit bigger, but I was so excited to see these because I almost bought these exact same ones off of Shein. So look, these are just like tortoiseshell hoops. 
for a dollar. Two more. Two more. My last video. These ones here are like the white design for the um for the ones that I bought previously. And then these here are also like a white. These would look really cute today. I should have worn those today. Should have unpacked them by now. Oh, that's it. That's all folks. That is my super rushed. I went through a lot of random stuff because it's my last Dollar Tree haul in this house. So a little bittersweet, but before you know it, I'm a new space that y'all get to see. So I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and I'll talk to y'all soon.